How's it going guys and girls? My name is Callum X. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I like very quick tutorials. So I'm going to show you where your community folder is so you can install mods in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 as quickly and easily and simply as I possibly can. All I ask is if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more Microsoft Flight Simulator content. So the community folder is by default stored in the main C drive. Okay, uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail at the end as to where it could be if you've changed your settings. But for the most people, it's going to be in your C drive. So we're going to go down, we're going to open a finder window up like this, we're going to click on C drive, then scroll down to the bottom and find users, double click on users and click your default user. This is the one that you are logged into Windows on for me, it's Kalu. Uh, most people will probably only have one, uh, you'll have your name default and public. So click on your main user. And now we need the app data folder just here. Now, for those of you who don't see the app data folder, because maybe it's hidden, you need to come up to your folder options. So I'm on Windows 11. So you click up here, you've got three dots down to options, but you need your folder options. Okay. And in view, you'll see there's hidden files and folders. You need to tick the show hidden files, folders and drives. It might be don't show hidden folders, folders and files. If you can't see it, so untick that. Tick show, hidden files, apply, and okay, job done. Right, double click in your app data folder. Now you need to head to local. Then you're going to scroll down and find packages, which I'm being blind and can't find for some reason today because <laughs> I'm trying to do it quickly. There we go, packages. And in packages, you will find there's one called Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, this one's going to be trickier to find too. Come on, come on, Callum, you can find it, you can find it. Uh, there it is, Microsoft Flight Simulator 8-W-E-K-Y-B-3-D-8-B-B-W-E. That's the one you want, okay? Double click on that, and there you go. This is your Flight Simulator folder. In Local Cache, and then Packages, this is where your community folder is to put your mods and official folder where it will store anything that you download from the official store, such as your world updates, things like that. So that's how you find it if you just clicked go and did everything exactly as it said in the, tu in the uh, tutorial in the uh, main installer, okay? If when you're installing Microsoft Flight Simulator and it says where do you want to save the files, you changed that folder, which is what I did, then it will, you know, that's where your community folder will be. It will be stored there. That's where your updates will go, et cetera, et cetera. So what I did is when I installed Microsoft Flight Simulator, I actually have a separate SSD drive, 500 gig SSD. And that's where I told it to put Flight Simulator. Okay, the actual game itself is a very small file, it's like five gig, but the folder, uh, the world updates and all of this sort of thing, this is what really takes up the space. So as I say, if you, if you changed your folder when you first installed the game, that's where all of your information will be. So I actually chose MSFFS add-ons is the name of my drive. And I made a folder called MS Packages and that's where I told it to install it. And as you can see, it's put a community folder and an official folder in there. Those are the ones that my game looks for. That's just way easier to find. But as I say, if you did it all by default, you've got a massive C drive and that's what you did. Then what I would recommend doing is when you do find this folder, this Microsoft Flight Simulator .8WEK, when you find this folder, what you can do is you go back to the packages. So you go one above to packages, scroll down, find the folder that the Microsoft Flight Simulator one, right click on it and click pin to quick access. This will basically pin that folder here on your left hand side. So every time you load up a finder window, boom, there's my Flight Simulator folder, really easy to find. If you find this video useful, which I really do hope you do, then uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe, as I say, for more Flight Simulator content. It's going to be a lot of it going up on the channel. And of course, comment down below. Let me know how you get on or if you have any questions, of course, as well. Hopefully, I will see you guys on the channel another time. But until then, go install some mods now that you know where they go. Take care. Have a good one. Fly safe. Bye-bye.